All right, now the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra released just a few months ago has already established itself as one of the best Android phones out there in the smartphone market. Packed with cutting edge features and innovative technology, this flagship device continues to impress us with its performance, design and camera capabilities. In this video, we will delve into the key aspects of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and see how good it is after using it for three plus months. Whether it is worth the money or not, let's find out. The first thing I want to talk about is the battery performance of this phone. The Galaxy S23 Ultra packs a 5000 mAh battery that ensures more than a day of usage without any worries. Remember this is the same battery size which was put into the S22 Ultra last year but the battery performance on that phone was just about a day. But this time Samsung has just nailed it. Samsung's optimized power management coupled with the more efficient processor tweaked for Samsung and the efficient display contributes to an impressive battery life. Additionally, the device supports fast charging both wired and wireless allowing us to quickly replenish the battery when needed. It takes about 1 hour 15 minutes approximately to fully charge this phone in normal conditions which is just fantastic. I never felt the need to charge this phone twice a day. In fact on a normal usage I always see 30 to 40 percent left before I go to bed and the notable thing is the standby battery consumption is hardly about 4 to 6 percent which is great. The screen on time on a moderate usage is around 8 to 9 hours which is incredible on a phone with this huge 120 hertz display. All in all battery life is something which is very very important for all of us and this phone delivers it. Now coming to the design and display, this is obviously the best thing to talk about. I'm just enjoying this display since the day I started using this phone. This stunning rectangular boxy design that seamlessly combines elegance and functionality offers the best of media consumption and gaming experience. This phone features an edge to edge dynamic AMOLED display measuring 6.8 inches with WQHD plus resolution and a buttery smooth 120Hz refresh rate. The immersive viewing experience offered by the Galaxy S23 Ultra sets a new standard for flagship smartphones for sure. I am enjoying every bit of it. The best part is that the smooth animations on One UI complements this display offering the best experience. Now the camera performance. This is obviously one of the standout features of Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. The device is equipped with a quad camera setup featuring a 200 megapixel option is incredible but I seldom use this mode to capture images. I feel Samsung still lures customers to buy the phone by marketing its higher megapixel count which not many of us really need. That's my personal opinion. You let me know whether you use 200 megapixel mode or not, drop a comment. Now the camera system is complemented by Samsung's advanced computational photography algorithms resulting in stunning detailed and true to life images in various lighting conditions. This phone also excels in low light photography thanks to its larger sensor size and enhanced night mode. In the camera department the most noticeable improvement is the videography. There is a huge improvement when compared to the S22 Ultra for sure. My S22 Ultra still struggles with autofocus and video comes out to be grainy mini at time in slightly lower lighting conditions. But on the S23 Ultra, the videos are almost close to iPhone 14 Pro Max. By the way, this video was shot on iPhone 14 Pro Max and I still feel that the videography is much better on the iPhones. Maybe the next iteration of S series will get there. Let's wait and watch that. Now the last important point I would like to mention is the performance and heating issues. Whether it's multitasking, gaming or running resource intensive applications, this smartphone handles everything with ease. The seamless integration of hardware combined with Samsung's refined One UI interface based on Android 13 results in a smooth and intuitive experience. I have not noticed any lags or stutters on this phone. This is buttery smooth and in my experience the heat management on this phone is solid. Even during 4K video recording or gaming the phone doesn't heat up much and obviously better than the S22 Ultra or any other predecessors of this phone. This has a better chip and a larger vapor chamber which contributes to better heat management. Apart from these key points, the in-hand feel of this phone is just amazing, the calling experience is great, the external speakers are loud and clear and it's better than the predecessor S22 Ultra. The S Pen experience is awesome. Unlike the iPhone, the productivity features like split screen views and pop-up views are great for multitasking. For the first time, I'm not able to really find any major cons on a Samsung Galaxy phone. If I have to nitpick the shortcomings or if I have to point out the cons, maybe videography could have been a little better, a memory card slot could have been great, speaker could have offered a little more bass like the iPhones, faster wired and wireless charging would have been perfect. But I can live without these and this phone lives up to my expectations. But does it live up to your expectations? 
drop a comment. That was a quick review of the S23 Ultra after using the phone for close to about 4 months. Let me know your experience with your phone, mention its pros and cons in the comment section which will benefit the community. Now if you ask me whether you should buy this phone now, I would suggest you to go ahead and buy it. This is a solid phone. If you are coming from S21, S20 or any other predecessors, you can instantly upgrade it to S23 Ultra. But if you already own a S22 Ultra, then I would say S23 Ultra is still an upgrade, but I'm sure you will be able to live without all these additional improvements which the S23 Ultra offers. So stick to your S22 Ultra for maybe a year or two and then upgrade it to S23 Ultra or S24 series next year. Now, if you like this video and if you find this useful, go ahead, hit that like button. And if you want to know your phone better, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel. I keep posting some amazing tips and tricks for Galaxy phones, iPhone, and Pixel phones, majorly the Samsung Galaxy phones. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.